So, the culture and religion guide to Imperator, specifically for the Invictus mount. So, to begin, generally you want as many primary culture pops as possible. Um, foreign culture pops don't provide levies, they don't provide as much research, they don't provide as much output, they'll be prone to revolt. Um, pops of the same culture group but still of the wrong culture, are slightly happier, but should still be. Now, if you have a culture that is quite large, usually above 300 pops, it may be worth making them a citizen. Never make culture nobles. You make them a citizen because this might give you a slight benefit. I think the 4% happiness per culture you integrate. So you shouldn't integrate more than three cultures, roughly. But if you do, they act as primary culture pops. They give you the levies, they give you more income, they are happier. You can see 42% compared to 18%. Now, you generally cultures you want to integrate are Frisian, Cappadocian, Armenian, um, Bohairic, Macedonian, Roman, Punic, like especially large cultures, because that gives you free lots of levies. So, for the rest, um, you, just, you should just try and convert them. Don't create them any. Why don't you create them into nobles? Because it doesn't give you any benefit and it doubles the, the happiness penalty you take from integrating. So instead of 4%, you take an 8% penalty. Not worth it at all. Another interesting thing about integrating a culture is you can take their cultural inventions and you can integrate them so you have them available too as this button or more importantly the military traditions you can study their ways of war which unlocks their military traditions now uh, as you can see the more primary culture pops you have the more pops you need of a foreign integrated culture to be allowed to embrace their ways of war, to unlock their military tradition. Luckily, in Invictus, let's say you need 132 pops of Anatolian and Caucasian or all Caucasian culture group. If you only have a culture which has 100 pops, you can integrate a second one and the sum is used of them. So a hundred and a, a culture with a hundred pops and a culture with 40 pops does work together. They can even be in the other culture group. So one Anatolian, one Caucasian, very important. You can stack them. If you do this, study their ways of war. Main thing is you, of course, unlock their military traditions. In this case, these ones. Very good, you should always, every campaign you realistically integrate at least one set of military traditions. Now the cap is the maximum amount they'll, you'll ever require is, um, is uh, 300. I guess the total doesn't show because I have enough, is 300 pops. So by the late game, that's why you integrate cultures generally above 300 pops. Because that means you'll be able to take their ways of all. So that's generally the culture guide. Next, religion. Very important for religion. You want four deities of your primary religion. Because every deity that is of the wrong religion reduces conversion speed by 20% nationally. So because as Antigonids, I have one Sibylline instead of Hellenic deity, my conversion speeds will be reduced by 20%. Very bad. Now, sometimes the bonus is worth it. Usually it is not. Just something to consider. Uh, it does, however, give you a slight happiness bonus for that culture. But other things. Deifying rulers. Very important, most people miss this. I believe it may be a DLC feature. Deifying rulers, expensive, costs a lot of PI. 
turns a deity into a character. Deity. Like you can see here with Alexander. This is a character deity. A character deity is a copy of the original deity, just with your ruler. But he gives an additional effect when activating him. In this case, activating an Alexander gives extra pops. Um, also, deifying rulers. So per deified ruler you have, up to four, you get 15% extra conversion speed. So you can get 60% conversion speed if all four of the slots are deified rulers. Another very important thing about them. These are all categories. So this is the military, the civic, the um, the charisma, and then you have the zeal category, charisma and zeal. If you deify a ruler who has more than seven or seven of that stats, so in this case, Alexander would have more than seven or eight military stats, the effect of the deification is often buffed. Now, so there's a weaker effect and a stronger effect. Generally, you should deify rulers with a stronger, with a strong stat because then you get the strong effect. So let's say for this, uh, if I wanted to deify Isis, I shouldn't because it's the wrong religion, but still I could. Um, she has a, a deification effect, which you can't see until you deify a ruler, unless you check the uh, code. But she would have a stronger effect if I deify a ruler with seven or more zeal. That's generally just what you want to know. Another thing is building a holy site. Uh, a holy site buffs the effects of the deity uh, depending on the city rank or the rank of the holy site. So imagine Alexandria is a holy site to Alexander because it's a city which is the second rank. The lowest rank is settlement, then a city, highest rank is metropolis. He gets a decent bonus. A Metropolis would give even more bonuses to these effects. So he can buff these modifiers. And that is all you should know about religion. Of course, let's not forget, I've already talked about this in uh, the previous videos, but don't forget one of the most important buttons in the game, Perform Divine Sacrifice increases your stability per month every time you tick it. You can click it multiple times, increasing the stability per month you get. So this is how you remain stable. Combination with Invoke Devotio, which gives you tyranny, but reduces war exhaustion. And higher tyranny is good because it reduces AE, meaning you'll lose stability less. So high tyranny is good because that reduces AE, which keeps stability high. Try not go above 70, 80 tyranny because then you get bad events and uh, generally the modifiers are going to be annoying. You. But yeah, invoke the Vosio if you can, just to keep a low. You have to be at war and you have to actually have war exhaustion to be able to press this. That was it.